Hey everyone, Psychotronic Squirt Gun here with another comic book haul for y'all. Um, yeah, so this is the uh, 50 cent haul from Half Price Books. Shout out to Dollar uh, Ben Diver. He got me into going and checking out those stores. And this store I wasn't as happy with until I left and bagged and boarded them. And I'm like, you know what? These are actually fucking really good. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start off with this one. You know, I got this for 50 cents. It's uh, an X-Men related book, and I thought it was a cool spread, you know, for 50 cents. You're getting all this art and stuff. I'm not really a 90s guy, but I kind of understand it now. But uh, let's uh, let's go strong here. Let's uh, start it with uh, Ultimate Spider-Man. 86. I like Bendis' earlier run on this, but I'm willing to uh, collect these since I get them. On, on eBay as part of hauls and stuff that I pick up. Lots, I mean. 88. 106. Yeah, for cheap, you know, and I like Bagley's art, so if anything, you know, I'll get it for the art, too. But I do like the earlier stuff that Bendis wrote. All right, here's some Jim Starlin goodness. Um, we're, I would get Dread Star number 30. I mean, I don't know how good it is. Uh, this is his 90s stuff, maybe? I don't know. But for 50 cents, hey, 31. $32. And 33 So, yeah, good chunk of those. I can start reading those now. All right. I like this character, Death's Head, number uh, two, but it's number five. <laughs> Death's Head, man. I'm, I'm definitely down with Death's Head. This character looks awesome. Seven. Yeah, you know, I, I kind of missed the 90s. So, all right, I'm going to spotlight something. Um, shout out to my friend, uh, Big Elbow. He's into the indie stuff. And so I'm thinking, wow, you know what? I should probably look for indie stuff, especially in these 50 uh, cent bins. So uh, here's Malibu Rune. Like, I have no idea what this is about, but um, it's it's kind of dark. I don't know if you can see it, but it is freaking pretty. Damn, good art. You know, for 50 cents, man, you can't complain about this stuff. And I'm looking forward to reading it. It looks kind of well-paced and, you know, all that goodness that you want out of a comic. And it's got it's got a flip side too, so yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, checking out Rune. And um, I'm gonna check out this one too, Psycho Blast, just because it's a number one. You know, I don't mind picking up number ones. Uh, Marvel New Universe Star Brand, brand number three. I like I remember Star Brand, and I'm gonna collect that. And also number 12, I remember this event. It was a big event. There was a big explosion or something, right? It was pretty cool. And I'm going to showcase this one too, just because, like I said, I'm into 80s and 70s. That's Wildcats, right? But it's a breath boot, a booth. And um, I'm starting to understand why people make big deal out of the 90s, even though I dropped out. You know, it's just, it's because it's, it was a celebration of like the, of the style of, to them it was an evolution of, of the uh, of the genre of comic books you know in the 90s and now I kind of I kind of get it even though I like I like the 80s better because it's better paced and has suspense but I'm willing to uh, you know for 50 cents I'm gonna read this man and, and breath booth wow look at that incredible art so wildcats never read that I think Jim Lee started that but Totally down with it. I've got another indie here from Hammer Comics. I, I think I like this uh, writer, Dan Abnett. And uh, I'll showcase a little bit of this, too. A big elbow kind of made me think about, yeah, why am I just, why am I just going with big two stuff all the time? Like, if I'm in dollar bins and stuff like that, and I could flip through the art, I should totally just try to, you know, try to freaking go for it, man, because this is cool stuff for 50 cents. You can't complain about that. I mean, it's really awesome stuff. 
And I like the... I'm not a huge horror guy, but I love dark magic, and I love Monster Hunter stuff. You know, I don't like horror for the sake of horror, but I have best friends that in my past and who love horror, you know, and it's just... It's just what they're into. But I like Monster Hunters, and I like, like I said, dark magic. I think it's pretty cool stuff. I like the idea of it, at least. Okay, I'm afraid to move this thing. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do uh, As Asriel, Agent of the Bat, 66. Back to basics, I love it. Um, Shadow of the Bat, 27. It's a night quest, so it's more Asriel stuff. For 50 cents? Come on, guys. Don't know much about this, but I flipped through it and I liked it. So, um, Magnus Robot Fighter. Look forward to uh, to looking at that. The art was, it was okay in it. And I like the idea of fighting robots, too. <laughs> okay, so uh, Cable 20. Because I'm doing, I do X-Men stuff when I can. Here's... Um, Fantastic Four, legacy numbering 489, but it's volume two. It's Mark Wade, and uh, the art's really good. I never read this Mark Wade run. I have a few of those in my collection, but I, once I read John Byrne, I'm going to go right to uh, Wade because I heard that was a good run too. Um, Generation X, whatever number that was. <laughs> Yeah, some, they put the numbering small sometimes in the 90s because they just wanted you to buy it. That's 14 generation. And I looked at the art now. I kind of liked this. So. Okay, we've got an Age of Apocalypse uh, one I needed. Um, Weapon X2 for 50 cents. You know, they, I had to rip the sticker off, and it still looks good, but it's, it's a little sticky there now. Okay, shout out to my friend um, uh, Prime. Comic Book Prime. Um, He's into The Last Rites of Daredevil, and I saw these at the uh, LCS. Uh, Fanboy Prime, that's his thing. <laughs> I'm still new, you guys, so give me a break, huh? Um, Daredevil 298. And I have a lot of Daredevil, and I'm, I might start reading them after Frank Miller, because Frank Miller stuff's kind of expensive, but I'm still, I'm still going to get it. 297. And those are the last rights for uh, Daredevil. I got an X Factor number eight. And I love, you know, I love my Mystique. And I got some Uncanny X Men I needed. So, uh, yeah, I paid. I don't know if I paid too much for these. I don't know. Maybe you could tell me. But uh, 185. I love that Rogue Enemy number one. Yeah. Um, 188, I remember this battle between uh, Colossus and uh, Juggernaut. I always loved that. And 182. So yeah, you guys, hit me up on uh, Instagram. I'm going to be doing, um, uh, I think, a doubles haul next week or something. And the, the purpose of it is just to kind of zero in on my friends I got now, the new friends I got now, and uh, we could trade and stuff like that. Or, you know, and if that doesn't work out, I'll just do the eBay thing. I know I'm coming up 100. Actually, yeah, let me do this. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm coming up 100. Thank you to everyone that's being really cool to me. And um, I got a lot of doubles, so we're going to trade, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, hope you're doing good. Talk to you later.